Hello and welcome, Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing a brownie recipe that's been spun just for Halloween, so hope you guys enjoy. This is fun, easy, delicious. I just cannot begin to tell you how good of brownies these guys are. So let's get it going here. First, we're going to take a springform pan, which just means that the bottom comes out once you're done cooking. That's what that little latch there is for. They're really, really efficient and awesome and cheap, so you guys should pick one up. We're going to trace out on some parchment paper. This is going to make it easy for us to get the brownies out after we cook them. You could spray down with some spray. Um, this just makes it extra sure it's going to come off. So we got a circle there. We're good. Let's get started making some brownies. So we're going to do a double boiler here, which just means there's some water, really hot, steaming on the bottom. And we're going to melt our chocolate and our butter this way. So that's a, a, that's a full stick of butter, which I believe equates to four ounces of butter. Um, there'll be a printable recipe card in the link below that'll have all of the measurements and everything lined out with the how-to step-by-step -step instructions. So we're making really great brownies, so we're using really great chocolate. Use whatever blend you guys like, but I want the little bittersweet and some milk chocolate, which really worked really nice. I liked it. So we're melting everything down here. One of the keys to making great brownies is mixing each ingredient. I can't stress that. You'd think that you can just throw it all in there and mix it up and it's going to be the same thing at the end. And logic would tell you that. But it doesn't work like that amazingly so. So I really suggest you follow the steps and then and incorporate the ingredients just like I do here. And you guys will end up with great brownies, I promise. So there's a little bit of delicious brown sugar. It brings a little molasses to the table, a little more depth of flavor. Depth of flavor is always great. We put in some ground coffee, which is a secret to making chocolate taste more like chocolate. You won't taste any of the coffee, which is amazing. Delicious honey national sweetener and it's really good for you I guess that's closer to a tablespoon and a half there so we're mixing all of our friends together there getting our sugar in this is really an easy recipe and it is the type of recipe you should take to work someday because <laughs> your people you work with they're gonna be like wow we love you these are so good please bring more so you could spray here. I just had butter on hand, so I used butter just to, once again, help it come out once we're done and we've baked it off. Beautiful shine there. Who doesn't love chocolate? If you don't, then I'm sorry. <laughs> and then go ahead and scrape out all the extras. Don't want to waste anything. This is all really good stuff here. A couple of taps, gets air bubbles out. And let's bake this off. Here we go. So we're gonna bake at 350 for 35 to 45 minutes. You're gonna wanna check along the way. Just take a toothpick just like that. If it looks like that, it's not done. Should come out close to almost perfectly clear or clean. So this has cooked and cooled, which is important. You don't wanna just yank it out right away. Give it at least a half an hour or longer just to cool off makes it a lot easier to get it out to. And there's a spring form, that's the cool part of it. it. Makes it real easy to get your stuff out. You can just serve it right on that platter if you want since you use the parchment paper and everything to make it real easy for it to come off. Super simple, you guys can jazz this up any way you like, but we're gonna make a spider web out of this. That's what the, as you might have noticed in the front picture, all the white lines were. So we're making a spider web, which is cool, it's Halloween. Nothing like using a Ziploc bag. Cheap, easy, and does the job. Just the amount of the edge you cut off will decide how much of your frosting is going to come out. You want to make a pretty small little little cut there. So we're going to cut this into eight pieces. And the trick is you just quarter turn each time to get started and then just keep halving all the way through. And you'll have perfectly sized pieces. You can cut however you like. But we're doing a spider web, so that made sense to me this time around. So there's the cut. Just make sure it's really small. You don't want a big one, otherwise it's going to ooze out everywhere. Do a little test right there just to see how it's coming out so you have an idea. So you don't say, whoops. <laughs> it's a fun little take on brownies. Didn't want to reinvent the wheel. This is great for Halloween because it, you know, it does look like a spider web. You could even put a little like spider character guy on top of it if you wanted to. So let's take a look on the inside. Super fudgy, brownies, delicious. I promise you guys will love this. Come join us on social media. We'd love to have you guys. 
go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And like I said, there's a printable recipe card on the website. You guys have a great week. Take care. Enjoy Halloween.